because most people only know me as a broadcaster or the guy that does the video games. At one time in my life, I played hockey. Well, there's lots of emotions just, you know, going back 18 and a half years and not having a chance to really have closure when I played my last game against the St. Louis Blues in this building. Knowing what I just come off of, just an incredible initiative with the league and the Hockey Fights Cancer. It's uh, very honoring and humbling to, uh, to be a part of this. I know for me, there were times when I was ready to just say, you know what, I can't live like this. I can't live with the side effects. And that's where my wife uh, grabbed me and said, look, fight for me, fight for our kids, and fight for all the people that love you. What do you think your son, is he looking for a winger? <laughs> I don't know, that's only, I don't think you, I don't think you want any old check out there, so. I'm nervous, but, you know, but it feels complete. And now, with what I've been through over the course of the last year, I really feel like my purpose in life now is to help inspire somebody to either handle cancer, deal with it, stay away from it, or give them hope. He played over 1,000 NHL games, is a Stanley Cup winner, U.S. Hockey Hall of Famer, and cancer survivor. Please welcome back to the United Center Ice, Chicago's own, Eddie Olchek. Donnie, a couple of good goals up there, huh? Yeah. You got any more shifts left in us? I hope so. A couple more? brought back a lot of memories and it was my way to acknowledge the fans and say thank you to the Blackhawks for being a part of their family. Joining us tonight through the Make-A-Wish program, please welcome Carter Holmes. Seeing those young people out on the ice uh, certainly puts things in perspective and if anything now it just makes me want to fight even harder to help people regardless of where they may be in the battle. And whether I have hockey equipment on or I got a headset on, that's my purpose.